All right, so the big story um, in the NBA over the last 24 hours, Russell Westbrook gets traded to the Houston Rockets for CP3, so he'll rejoin James Harden, who he played with in OKC for three or four years. Um, you know, all these players are just kind of forcing their way out of their cities. Anthony Davis did it with the Lakers. Um, you know, obviously, um, uh, Paul George did it, and now yep. we see Russell Westbrook do it. So um, your thoughts on that trade? And I'm not so sure the Houston Rockets are a better team um, with Westbrook than CP3. I could be wrong, but they might be about the same. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, that that's going to be sort of the, the question that everybody will be following in terms of this trade because Harden and Westbrook both need the basketball. Right. And unless they change the rules, there's only going to be one uh, used during every game. And, uh, and, and they're both big ego guys. Uh, most of these superstars are. But uh, I, I think Oklahoma City, clearly Sam Presti, Billy Donovan, looked around and said, look, we had Westbrook and George we didn't get out of the first round. We haven't been out of the first round for three, three years. They're both getting older, not that they're old yet. Uh, I think George is only 28 or 29, and, and Westbrook's 30. But they're getting older. We're, we're spinning our wheels. Okay, let's go back to square one. Let's see how much we can get for these two guys. And they got a lot. You know, they've gotten, I don't know, how many, seven, eight draft picks out of these two trades. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're, they're rebuilding. Houston wants to win a title while James Harden is still a great player. Uh, and because he and Paul apparently don't get along, Paul's 34, slowed down a little bit. Great player. My God. Uh, they, this is a big gamble. This is an, all, this is an all-in gamble to try to win a title here in the next two or three years. I think Westbrook has four years left on his contract, and yep. Harden has uh, three years left on his contract. So the two of them, if healthy, should be around a while. The question will be, can they, can they play together effectively? And uh, there was a good point in the piece I read in the Washington Post this morning that neither one of them is an especially good defender. And in, in the playoffs, you've got to defend if you're going to win. Mm-hmm. Yep. Westbrook. I, I would say maybe not the best defender, but he's a great rebounder. I think that he'll he'll you know at least try on defense a little more than uh, James Harden. Hard hey, I wanted to, try. to uh, switch gears. Still NBA related. There's been a body shaming of Zion Williamson. What's your take? You know, this was something that people brought up uh, before he he played in college. I mean, the guy the guy's huge. He's six nine. He's two hundred eighty five pounds, or that's what they list him at. I mean, excuse me, six seven, mm-hmm. um, and uh, that's a lot of weight to carry. And it's one thing to carry that kind of weight when you are playing thirty five college games. Uh, it's another thing to carry that kind of weight when you're going to play a hundred games. That's why. I don't even know why New Orleans was playing him in summer league to begin with, but as soon as he got that minor knee injury, they said, okay, enough is enough, and that was a smart move. They're going to have to keep a close eye on him uh, in, terms, in terms of his weight, in terms of his ability to, to you know, play night after night in terms of potential injuries. He had that fluke injury with the shoe uh, in the Carolina game last year or this past season. Um, it, it's definitely it, it's something that was talked about as he came out of high school. Uh, you know, is, is he, in fact, too big? Now, we've seen guys with huge bodies be very effective NBA players. Certainly Charles Barkley comes to mind. He always carried a lot of weight. In fact, Bob Knight kicked him off the Olympic team in 84 because he told him to lose 20 pounds before they came back to the next training camp, and he came back, I think, five pounds heavier. Um, but he was still a great player without any question. So it's not as if big body guys can't do it. Uh, and can't be great players, but it's certainly something you got to keep an eye on.